When we hear the name, the Big Bang, it conjures images of an explosive, deafening event. A moment when everything began with a monumental roar. The term itself suggests a singular, powerful detonation, as if the universe was born from a cosmic firecracker going off in the darkness. But was the Big Bang really a bang at all? Well, thanks to scientists, we have a good idea of what it sounded like. And what it sounded like is not what you might think. You're watching V101 Space. My name's Rob, and if you enjoy diving into the wonders of space, don't forget to subscribe for much more to come. In reality, the sound of the Big Bang was nothing like the chaotic blast you might imagine. Instead, you may be surprised to discover it was more like a robotic hum, and it would have been completely inaudible to the human ear. You might wonder then, how can we hear the sound now? Well, we know what it sounded like because scientists have modelled early universe sound waves using data from a satellite that studied the cosmic microwave background, or CMB. This is the incredible image of the CMB, and reveals the very first light that could ever travel freely throughout the universe. This is the furthest any telescope can ever see, a kind of fossil radiation, released only 380,000 years after the Big Bang, which occurred 13.8 billion years ago. And it is from the data in this radiation that scientists can recreate the bizarre sound of the Big Bang. I'll play the audio clip in a minute, but before I do, let me briefly tell you how it was created. You see, for the first few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang, the universe was far denser than even the air on Earth. This meant that sound waves could travel through it, like a vast cosmic fluid. However, as the universe cooled and expanded, the sound waves stretched, until after hundreds of thousands of years, the universe grew so large that the sound faded away completely. But by analysing the tiny fluctuations in the CMB data, which reflect the density variations caused by those early sound waves, scientists can simulate the ancient sounds of the universe. To make them audible to the human ear, however, the frequency has been raised drastically. In fact, they've been boosted by many trillions of times to bring them into the range that we can hear. But nonetheless, this is what the first 760,000 years or so after the Big Bang probably sounded like.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to like and subscribe for much more to come. And if you would like to support my channel even further, then why not buy me a coffee? A small donation goes a long way and helps me improve what I am attempting to build. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.